this about another kind of cyber attack. This time targeting critical infrastructure, water utilities. CBS2 is always investigating. Our Charlie Damar is in the control room with what we need to know. Charlie? And Joe and Erica, good evening. Hacker groups from Russia, China, and Iran, they've all taken credit for recent attacks on water utility companies. In recent months, the EPA even warning smaller communities to take action. Water utility companies are on notice during federal inspections over the last year. Roughly 70% of them violated standards meant to prevent data breaches or cyber attacks. Some failures as simple as using default passwords or allowing former employees to access sensitive systems. PRC hackers are targeting our critical infrastructure, our water treatment plants, our electrical grid. While the warnings aren't new, the EPA says the attacks are more severe and frequent. In April, at a water treatment facility in Indiana, Russian hackers took responsibility for a cyber attack that caused minimal disruption. Late last year, an Iranian-linked group targeted a water provider in a small Pennsylvania town in a geopolitical attack, going after an Israeli-made device used by the utility. Any of the nation's infrastructure, electric, Water utilities always under great scrutiny by uh, adversaries that are potentially interested in causing harm from afar. The alert sent by the EPA says the impact of a cyber attack could range from interruptions to water treatment and storage to drastic changes in the amount of chemicals used to treat drinking water. Cyber ta attacks is a great levying uh, capability against any nation state. Rob Lee is a cybersecurity expert with the Sands Institute. This could be just an ever increasing way to let the nation's utilities that they take even greater notice that they are doing everything possible to prevent any type of cyber attack. And in recent months, the EPA sent governors, including J.B. Pritzker, here in Illinois, letters urging the states to come up with comprehensive cybersecurity plans in the case of an attack. Reporting live in the control room, I'm Charlie DeMar, CBS2 News.